Hey everybody, welcome to episode 53 of my fitness vlog. So I know I'm kind of uh, getting my uh, workouts kind of a little bit out of sequence. Um, just been uh, dealing with family life and all that. Uh, but uh, this is my Monday workout that happened uh, like two days ago or yesterday. And uh, I just wanted to kind of let you know that I'm doing my best to keep up with the uh, workouts and the videos. Uh, but uh, if anybody has ever made a consistent vlog, uh, knows that it, it's a lot of work. Uh, I mean, I spend probably you know, an hour at the gym, and then it's going to take me at least two to three hours uh, to get the vlog made. And uh, when I'm juggling my business and uh, everything else that I do on top of this, um, sometimes this gets kind of put on the side while I uh, work with other things. So anyways, thank you so much for your patience and, uh, there should be some good, uh, upgrades coming to my channel soon. Uh, I got a new camera coming in, uh, in a couple days. So probably by the time I start doing my, uh, vlog next week, I'll have a better camera. Um, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, so I'm in the middle of my uh, strength day, uh, I guess you can call it, um, my 333 back squat. So I decided that I wanted to add uh, more weight. Um, they said to go up on my weight, so I did. And uh, doing the 333 whew, can, be kind of ch can be kind of challenging. Um, it's a very unique way to do back squats. I know a lot of people do like five, 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 five by five and you know a bunch of different type of things or building or one rep or as many as you can do to failure or whatever. But I, what I think is interesting with with uh, a 333 is that you add a very, very heavy weight. My one rep right now is about 315, at least last time I tried. And so jumping five pounds each time I do a back squat because I was at 270, 275 and then 280 which is what I just completed. Um, you really don't have a lot of uh, strength left in your uh, your legs. So anyways um, now I'm on to my strict press and uh, uh, 333 and I'm doing the same thing. Um, I'm really happy that I was able to get three reps strict press at 135. Um, being able to throw in the one plates is definitely a plus and definitely something that uh, I was really happy about. Uh, and I continue to probably continue to add more weights as the time goes on and uh, I'm kind of happy about it. So anyways, uh, so th I'm now on to this uh, Imam every minute on the minute for 10 minute workout that uh, coach has been having me do. And I'm not sure what it was, but my grip just got shot um, during this workout. Uh, part of it probably was doing, I was really used to doing three pull-ups. Um, and he's having me do five pull-ups now for this part of the workout which I don't know what it was about it, but uh, my hands are just trying to grip that bar, just kind of slip in, and I'm not sure if it's partially the bar, or partially my grip. Um, I might try um, a different bar next time I do some pull-ups to see if that makes a difference. Um, I know that uh, the texture on a bar you know whether it's rough or um, it's more smooth also can make a difference depending on um, how, what your uh, pull-up style is and uh, so I mean right now I'm my pull-ups are literally I'm just trying to get that movement in as much as I can even though I'm not really doing full pull-ups I'm not doing anything with a band or anything like that so Anyways, I felt really upset with myself with most of these kind of pull-ups, as you can tell. I just try and try and try and I felt like I was just moving like two inches up 
Um, so it, it kind of comes, you know, some days you have great training days, um, and other days it's just not so much. I mean, sometimes you just feel like you have to kind of just grind through the workout, and other times you are uh, just rocking it out and all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, I'm on my last set of uh, this EMOM and uh, coming out to the end of my workout. So, I'm really happy that uh, there's uh, new things coming along, and uh, we'll see uh, what's in store on my next workout. probably getting up to my last uh, last pull up so, sorry if I'm not too talkative it's like 10 o'clock at night and uh, just want to get this done so that I have a clean slate for tomorrow so. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, just tap on the icon above me. If you want to check out more of my videos, just check out the links over here. Also, make sure to head over to Instagram and check out my channel there. See you in the next video.